And then um, you also brought this yeah. here. You also you also study Tai Chi. So yeah. What I, is this? This is a, 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 it's a straight shop in bamboo straight shop. They like small ones, not really in the saw size. Well, it's not side one, well, side one. Well, this is when I'm in America in, in, uh, in, in, eight, in 80s, you know. In the 80s, when uh, my friend, you know, Dr. Lux, you know, uh, he wanted to go to China, go to learn Tai Chi, because uh, I talk about uh, uh, Dr. Henry Kissinger's uh, Chinese American relationship, mm -hmm. and China's open, and we American citizens can go there too. So, Dr. Lux told me he wanted to learn Tai Chi, went to China. So, I told him, he said, then I researched, my Yuleo is still alive. I said, wow, you got to learn from the Grandmaster Ma Yuleo, the son in law of Wu Jiancheng, Wu Sao Tai Chi, his uh, uh, son from the Chen Yu, so three, yeah, third generation, real high up, famous Grandmaster. And, uh, and, I, and I got, yeah, I got him to go to China to learn from Ma Yuleo. Second year, I go there, I go there. Uh, with him. Mm -hmm. First year we go there, second year I, he's still going. Then I come, I want to go to uh, bring some students with me. And uh, him, I said, you already know to tell people, tell people in Wu-style people I want to go with him. And we want to come to life. But they got so nervous to see Master Ma. So we may say we go there, they go see Master Ma. We all go there in his house and we sit there. They told the people of us. And Master Ma saw to welcome. And then and he got some students, actually he got some uh, uh, white students. <laughs> I mean, he got them and helped them to demonstrate uh, Tai Chi saw and a saber and Tai Chi for them and that's the mark to a little bit. Then after finish, he said, ah, thank you, you got come next year, next time you come, kick, we are welcome, just come in. Mm -hmm. And they start that stand up leaving. And I told, uh, no, 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 you can sit down, not leaving. I go tell Master, Master Ma, can we come learn from you tomorrow? We are ready. <laughs> they look at me. Okay, so we go tomorrow. So when they are so happy, they're leaving, blah, walking out, I stand behind. So Master Ma walks, you know, Chinese people, you know, they send people out the door, stay in the door, open the door. Stay right. Out there. And, 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 uh, and I stay behind when the Master finished. Johnny, you still there? I said, I said, Resistant. I said, I said Master Ma, uh, they come in the morning. Can I come by myself in the afternoon? Just me? <laughs> it's okay. So I got the toy with them, then I got plot lesson. <laughs> I, I learned from Bruce Lee too. <laughs> Bruce Lee one time go to see you know, Yemen, he stand there in front door, tell everybody Yemen's not in the hotel, go home, you call, you come a plot lesson. <laughs> But I'm better, I'm just kind of so I don't tell them to go for walk. I've got never a chance to find Master Ma. So I go there once from there on every year I go back to learn from him. I learn from him until I don't get 80 something. He passed 98. I learned from Master Ma at least 13 years. Mm -hmm. Every year I go there and see him. Mm -hmm. So one time I learned a saw and I didn't get saw. So he gave me that saw. He said, Johnny, you learn that you have no saw, that you go practice with all. Practice this in the hotel. That's an area saw better than just a stick. Right. Yeah, so with that saw, then I got the type of that in the hotel. Get, get that, get that, get a student, you know, get that, uh, get, get that uh, 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 people in the, in the hotel, the service boy, and ask them, take pictures of the type of what I just learned from Master Ma, so I can, I can type it in. Oh, make sure, yeah. make sure yeah. I go home, everything's correct. Right. And after I finish the saw, you know, Friends of my area, my area, told me, he said, Johnny, you sit here, don't move. I said, Sifu, uh, okay, why? He said, I'm going to write you a certificate. I said, Sifu, you don't have to do anything. You teach me, tell me right or wrong, I'm happy. And you don't have to buy me a certificate. And he told me, sit down. Okay, I'll sit down. <laughs> he walked away, takes some 30 minutes, come back, write me a certificate. Uh, Johnny Lee, let's saw. Uh -huh. And such 
so good. <laughs> I just bought family because it was so good. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I'm, so I'm just, I can grab myself. <laughs> <laughs> that's wonderful. Yeah, and, and that's, that's, the, that's the best one. Mm -hmm. They're not start teaching you. They're not start, start teaching you Sri Paul Rizana, you know? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, uh, and I could go to tournaments almost, uh, almost uh, twice a month at least. And like at the beginning, you know, and talk to her, you know, they are me so well. I can fly on that private plane, go to, go to Washington, go to Dallas, go to all the, uh, all those, uh, all those, uh, all those big tournaments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even I'm in the, even I'm, I'm in the small town, right. almost all the karate masters at that time. They went to, always they went with uh, Shogun Makami, Mahali Ochai's, Keon Kings, and Johnny Lee. They are always there to do the demo with other people. For Orientals, they are always, always there. Right. And, and so uh, yeah. I got to be pretty popular with the term. They made our start having Kung Fu tournament. And I, then I do Kung Fu tournament. Then, then I have my own Kung Fu tournament. Not Kung Fu tournament, open tournament, U USKAs, you know. Then we got soft style forms and hard style forms and sparring together. That's, I think I'm the first, at least first, first school or first Chinese master that tournament is soft. Right. And then people all come. And, and uh, then, uh, then I got Jack Ford in Houston. We built the biggest tournament in 1994. Yes. In, Florida, biggest one, and, and, and even on the on the pay per view. On the pay per view, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Then I moved to Dallas. Dallas. <coughs> and till now, I got, I got, I just, I'm still teaching that. I actually, I went a new, brand new schools um, with my daughter's help and uh, negotiator. Nice, open. Maybe yeah. next month. Yeah, big tall ceiling. Big tall ceiling. Wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. Wonderful space. Yeah, Beautiful space. space. Yeah, and uh, almost Lots this special design for yeah. all gyms and Kung Fu schools. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty wonderful. Yeah, and uh, then I got my student open school in Seattle, in Seattle, Washington area. Mm -hmm. I got student you know, open school in uh, Canada, the, the French, what's it called? Mm -hmm. French and French area. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know the city? Quebec. Quebec. Mm -hmm. Quebec. Then I got people, then I got students here in North Carolina, South Carolina, and, 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 and Georgia, and Atlanta, uh, and Colorado, then Shreveport, we still got Florida, Florida and yeah, Dallas, and, yeah. and Arkansas. So, so. Yeah. so we are doing. Our, our Kung Fu family is growing and uh, we are doing pretty good. So we are, we are specialized in the Li Zhong Long Hong, and Wu Style Tai Chi, and I'm all real. And Wu Style Pa Pa. I'm lucky to learn from the masters when I'm so young and they're still there. So my generation is real high. I become a fourth generation of, of uh, Wu Style Tai Chi. Most people now they teach it fifth and sixth. I'm the damn good. <laughs> and but, good. but they are their teacher are the same always to me. <laughs> Maybe I wouldn't even. <laughs> right. But make sure you know. That's that's me and mastermind in North America, you know. Right. Yeah. I full star Tai Chi, you know. I learned from uh, uh, General Subboka. Uh, General Subboka is the one of the best student of food and from you know, ever in the United States. Yes. Yeah. So so I am just lucky. Very good. Yeah. Well, I hope that you enjoyed learning yeah. about where this wonderful training and education began and how it got to the United States, and that it's still continuing, and that you can always come learn from Grandmaster Lee at his school here in Dallas, um, his headquarters, or if you're in one of the other states that he mentioned, his school is there. Search it out. Thank you.